Hello there fellow modellers, Steve here and after the review that I did for the artillery tractor which was the last time I said that I would do a review of the kits that I bought at our own Northern Model Show which was on the 4th of June and it's now the 30th of July so it's a bit late but I thought I would get round to it eventually. Uh, I've started the artillery tractor that I did the review for, uh, well, I've painted the, the wheels, I've started it, but it's an ongoing project because it's, uh, it's quite, it's, it's a simple kit but it's lots of small bits, it's not a very hard kit to build. I hope anyway. So we'll start off with what I got. Yeah. With uh, the birthday money that I got off my mum and dad because it was my birthday on the 3rd of May. And I seen I was in Phoenix, which is where I, where I normally go to get paints if I'm low on it that I can't buy any red else and I seen this and I thought I will and that's the new tools Airfix Austin K2 Y Ambulance now I've got one of these uh, by Accurate Armour but it's a resin kit and as I've never built a resin kit before I wasn't sure about what type of glue to use whether you can use ordinary Tamiya or super glue or whatever so I wasn't going to start that and think oh this is not going to get together I would start with this first maybe so I'll keep that for something else but I've seen this and I've always liked it just by really watching Ice Cold and Alex <laughs> so I got that with me the birthday money off my mum and dad and we'll start off with the first kit which I wasn't actually, I didn't actually buy, I was actually given it by uh, one of the lads on the, it was on the Saturday when we set up and uh, he says Steve I've got a kit for you and he gives us this which is the Revel 148 skill F15E Strike Eagle And it's the tiger meat one. And this is off there. Uh, thanks for that, Mike. And uh, I don't know. It's quite a big kit with it being 148 scale, so I don't know when I'll get round to building that. But anyway, thanks for that, then, Dean. And that was on the the Saturday when we set up for the show, and we had the show on Sunday, and it was a fantastic show. We had a really great day lots of people come which is great and there was lots of traders a bit more more than what there was on uh, the show last year we had and plenty of clubs and sigs and there was also a competition which was which was great I didn't enter the competition myself because I wasn't uh, you look at uh, I actually did a bit judging with one of the other lads and it was just hard trying to find faults so I might enter next year when I've got something in mind to enter but that's that's for next year anyway so right I've got that off Dean and the kits that I bought right and the first one I bought which was the mini craft one one four four skill Panam Pacific Clipper. Now I built the Airfix one of this oof, must have been about 1985, and me my painting skills weren't very good then uh, because it's with all with it all being an overall silver. Silver at its best of times is very hard paint. To paint silver yellow and I think white any of the the brighty colors and I've found by uh, trial and error trying to paint dark colors on light colors just doesn't work 
but that's that's another story that but I thought I'd get this because it's I like the air uh, the box art it looks like it's probably Hong Kong with the Chinese junks or Shanghai whichever but that's a good kit that. and I forget how much I paid for it and something else that I picked now I'm I'm in the process of ongoing uh, a Russian Typhoon class SSBN it's downstairs because I've got the I'm doing it in a snow scene but I've seen this and it's an Alpha class which I think is classed as an SSN attack submarine <coughs> and I've had a look inside it it's a pretty basic kit I'm not going to get much detail on submarines and that's by Eastern Express <coughs> And it's one 400 scale, that one. And I can't remember how much I paid for that either. Now this one, I've wanted a one of these for a while now. It's what you, you call the Eggplane series. And they do lots of things. Jets, modern jets, uh, World War II planes. Because there was... Uh, one of the clubs at our sh at the, the recent show, he had three Lancasters in the eggplane type. One was dropping the upkeep bomb, one was carrying the Grand Slam, and another one was just a normal Bomber Command Lancaster, and they were all on air, uh, on stands, on a bit of air, uh, metal rod, and they looked good. And I seen this and I thought, oh, I've got to get this. And it's a... Uh, an F-18 Hornet eggplane in the colours of the Blue Angels, which is the US Navy acrobatic display team. And you don't get a glamorous female pilot with it. <laughs> it's just, a, it, what it is, is it's just a, a shoulder and a helmet, like probably about, and you stick it on. It's painted with the colours. I think that they have a yellow helmet, yellow and blue. But that'll be good, that. And that was twelve ninety nine. But I'd always wanted one of them, so what better to have than a Hornet? Uh, now, what else did I buy? Ah, this. One of the lads, well, a few of the lads in our club had uh, allocated tables where they could sell uh, parts of their stash. And I bought this off one, and it's a uh, General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. It's PM models, and he charged it a fiver for it. Now I've built a, a couple of them, and I like the F-16. It's, it's a nice looking jet. And you can get Turkish and American Air Force markings, but I'm going to do it as, it's, I've got some Belgian Air Force markings, and it's, uh, I've got them in here, there they are. It's a special scheme from 350 Squadron of the Belgian Air Force, and there's, there's the markings. So that should look good. Any charge is a five after that, so you can't go wrong with that. Right, uh, and this I bought, which was one of the lads had a load of stuff off one of our members who sadly passed away this year and he was selling a lot of his stuff and uh, this guy he did mainly British armour and figures and some of the the figures that he did was on display and, and they were fantastic I mean I've met the I've met the guy a few times and he he's a nice he was a nice bloke and a fantastic modeler and what I bought was it was miscellaneous diorama scenes just things like that. Walls. And what attracted it was, and was on a break about when it was these. Uh, because I'm going to use them for a diorama for an American half track that I've got. That one's painted. I think I'll try and do it the same. 
And there's a lot of other things in here. There's I don't know what that is, it's, but it's it's all like casts. Of, some of them's painted, and some of them's not. There's a one there. It's a uh, what is that? That doesn't say what it is, but it's, it's a wall. It's got a few bullet holes in. And he was charging, he charged the tenner for that as well, I have that. What else? Uh, I haven't, that was the, the most kits I've bought. And I bought one uh, online, which was, which was the last kit I bought, which was this. Uh, Ear Models, and it's an Avro Lancastrian, a civil version of the Lancaster. flown by a lot of airlines. This one was flown by Qantas Empire Airways and it's commemorating, I think it's the first, it made the first flight from Cape Town to Sydney I think, or Perth to Cape Town, I'm not sure which. And that'll be a good scheme, good plender build. And that's it. Uh, Apart from, I had I got a few paints there, uh, and that's it. I think that's just uh, how long have I got? Have I been on? It's only twelve minutes. I'll give you a bit of a rundown of kits that I'm doing at the moment. This one, which is, it's the. Airfix P51 Mustang and it's in the markings of the P51 that's actually owned by Tom Cruise and he flew it in the recent film Top Gun Maverick. So that'll be the first of the planes out of Top Gun Maverick that I'm building because I've got a couple of the Hornets but they're a bit more complicated. But that one that's turned out great that. And this one is one, a Hornet that I'm building, and it's in the markings of one of the aggressor squadrons. The imitate, the imitate, well, I won't say enemy aircraft, but at the time it was Russian aircraft, and they normally have a red star on the rudder. And there's a bit of camouflage effect. Because I did get a uh, I don't know where they've went. A set of markings for, I think it's VFC-12, which is the Fighting Omaha's, which is an aggressor unit. But I don't know where I've put it. It's about somewhere anyway. I've got that at the shore as well. And something else that I've started, which is this. Which is a it's a Williams Brothers, and it's a Lockheed Electra 10. Now the reason I started this was it's because I was reading, I think it was last Monday in one of the papers. It was the, it's officially known in America as Amelia Earhart Day, because Monday, with the July, July the 24th, is the day that she was born in. I think she was born in 1897. And she was a uh, a well-known uh, aviatrix, <laughs> correct pronunciation, in America. Uh, she was the first, I think she was the first woman to fly across the Atlantic. And she did attempt to fly around the world, but in circumstances she crash-landed somewhere in the, I think it was the Western Pacific somewhere. But there's lots of conspiracy theories about what happened to her. She was captured by the Japanese, she was an American spy and, and all this. And I was actually watching a programme and that's what uh, motivated us to get this. I said, I've got that kit. And then the next day when I was reading the paper was a load of facts about her. So I've started that. 
there's a basic kit to build and you actually get about four you actually get about five schemes there's Delta Airlines uh, Eastern Airlines US Coast Guard US Navy and the one that Amelia Earhart and a navigator Fred Noonan tried to fly around the world with so I've just started that uh, what else have I got I've started this which is an Hawker Siddeley 748 or Avro 748 it's one of the A models I think now I was all set before tea to go and prime it downstairs in the garden because it's fine but I was trying to work out how to attach it and I, I've got a, a load of crocodile clips on things and I attached it and it fell off and and the, one of the tail planes has fell off so I've got to glue that on so that's not getting primed in here and I've I finished this which is it's an, a one of these never got off the drawing board I, you, you would class it as Luftwaffe 46 it's a Messerschmitt P1111 Delta wing interceptor and I've just I've finished that there uh, I think it was about two weeks ago sometime I have started the I don't know who makes this KP models the Mil MI8 now I've got some decals from the Ukraine in the markets of its Ukrainian border guard and it's a bit more colourful than the normal Russian or well that's Czech Air Force I think the ones you could get with this was Czech Air Force and I think it was uh, I can't remember what it was uh, uh, it was a civilian one I can't remember whether it was Aeroflot or one of the two but I'm going to do it as the Ukrainian border guard which is so there's the decals for it and that's what it should look like But apart from that, that's all I've got up to now. Yes, when I'm trying to not to start anything new until I've got all these finished. Right, so that's that's it for this video and the next one I do, I might do another inbox view review of the Austin K2 ambulance. If I can get my camera set up, it's a bit uh, a bit more uh, to focus a bit more rather than have it on the tripod and it's it's pointed like that. Something like overhead, I'll have to, to sort it out anyway. That it looks a bit more better because I've seen other people do inbox reviews and the camera looks like it's hanging from the ceiling and it's down and it's you can get a lot more. Uh, of the layout of the instructions and the decals and the sprues itself so I'll have to work on that but that's one I think I might do the, the inbox review for that because that's a good kit but apart from that that's all I've got so I'll wish you happy modeling and I'll see you guys on the next video bye now